Hello, this is me, Mr. Root, from my studio, and um, I want to tell you something about my new addition to my studio, which is this. It's uh, it's called Zenix Control One USB from Behringer, actually, which is a replacement to my old and you, as you can see, broken. Presonus monitor station Why I put these aside because I want you to have a look Because these two Things these two devices do more or less the same which is they control the monitors so uh, You can have a volume knob here on there. However, this does a little bit more and uh, And this is broken. So uh, let's get rid of this and uh, okay and uh, let's go back to this okay you will say oh it's a Behringer must be crap but actually it's not well come on it's a monitor monitor controller you cannot go wrong with this especially recently Behringer is doing pretty decent equipment so uh, and it costs only a hundred thirty euro Come on, it's not a bargain, it's a steal, 130 euro, which is like 500, 599 zloty. Oh, come, come on. So, and actually it also has um, a sound interface built in. Okay, I will not use the sound interface in that, but it's a nice addition if you have, uh, if you own main sound interface will be um, damaged or broken or um, you know uh, you will end up with nothing here we go you can use the built-in sound interface that is in this unit which is brilliant and also what's brilliant it's it also has a power supply built in so there, there is only one cable and nothing more so this is great. So let's go through it and I will tell you. Look, this is, as you could see, it's pretty big. It's pretty solid. It, you can really feel that it's, it's well built and uh, it's, it's really cool. What, what is also cool, it's um, you have this big knob. It's like you have this other device that is also called big knob and it costs at least three times as much again it's only 130 euro so what you have you have three different uh, monitors so I have your main monitors I have my sub here I have my uh, Avanton uh, boxes which is really cool what is very important you have the mono button and also you have different source uh, that you can select over here which is also a very cool feature. Comparing to the, oh, oh by the way, also here you have uh, this little uh, knobs that you can trim your level for uh, your speakers. In the Presonus, you you have them in front. But come on, if you uh, uh, if you trim them uh, once, how many times you going to do it again? okay so this is really cool and also for them uh, for the studio it's also have a talk back it has um, a different uh, you can have uh, two or probably even more headphones and um, also you have some inputs over here that can work also as the inputs through them um, through the built-in uh, interface to your DAW. So this is everything is really well and solid. You know the big knob works pretty nice. It feels really solid. The uh, the um, uh, switches are pretty chunky. So uh, actually, again, it's only 130 euro, and uh, well, it's it's a steal. So. Um, I was thinking about buying this or buying uh, an equipment, a, a unit like this and 
actually I'm pretty much really much surprised so uh, it works really nice look this is uh, a truck I'm working right now I'm actually finishing so uh, so uh, it works pretty well I have a sub Aventones So uh, it is really really cool device it, and if you need something like this it sounds normal so um, well comparing to Presonus I cannot feel any difference so uh, Behring, Behringer Xenix Control 1 USB very good thumbs up see you next time bye